Hello YouTube, today I go to uh, Bart Remmers aka DOS Gamer and we gonna upgrade his old PC to an MS-DOS time machine but first we need some parts it's always handy to bring a spare floppy drive and we going to install a Fudu 1 in his system So we need a pass-through cable for the Fudu one. Also a spare video card may come in handy. Let's take this one. And we need a sound card. Let's take this AWA A64 because it has uh, good DOS game compatibility and create MIDI for DOS games. Also we need some software. Here we have MS-DOS 6.22, the sound drivers, Midnight Commander and I found my uh, floppy with CD-ROM mouse and zip driver. So we have the hardware we need, we have the software and we have uh, tools and some camera equipment. So I'm ready to go. Oh, before I forget, I also need my tripod. I'm ready to hit the road. I'm almost there. So I'm here with uh, Bart Remmers aka DOS Gamer. Hello. So let's introduce yourself to my viewers. My name is uh, Dos Gamer. I've got a YouTube channel on which I've got over 1800 videos of classic retro gaming for uh, MS-DOS PCs. And uh, it's growing uh, even more every day, every day a new video. Uh, on a daily basis I'm a motion graphic designer, so uh, I make a lot of stuff in After Effects, like this. And yeah, that's what I do. The YouTube videos that you now make, how do you make them? Uh, do you have a DOS machine for it or do you have DOSBox? At this time I only use uh, DOSBox to, to record my gameplay because I don't have a retro machine. And now I do and it's over here. So I would like to take it back a notch instead of working on DOSBox every time I play a game. I would love to do it on a real deal mm -hmm. MS-DOS machine. We are gonna check out what's inside this PC and then we are gonna see if we can turn it into an MS-DOS time machine. An MS-DOS time machine is a concept by Phil's computer lab and it is a machine running MS-DOS which can run 95% of all DOS games ever made with the correct speed and with the working sound. And next to that I got one floppy disk over here which I got in uh, 1993 with a game that cannot be mounted in DOSBox so I would love to see this game again. So let's try it out. Let's try it out. Let's take a look inside. And I see that we have an ABIT motherboard, an AB-AX5. So that's a very nice find. Uh, and it has four PCI slots and four ISA slots. And a PC speaker of course because DOS needs a PC speaker. Well, I tested this one, it works. And you get people that get annoyed by the sound? Yes, my girlfriend, so I test it when she's not here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we have an uh, Intel TX chipset. So that's a very uh, nice motherboard, it's a late generation uh, Pentium 1. Four memory modules, a video card, a network card, and uh, I think it's a Sound Blaster Live. Here we have a uh, one hard drive and another hard drive, a floppy drive and a CD player. So I think we have a uh, good candidate for a nice DOS machine. Let's check what kind of video card we have. Nice, we have a Diamond Stealth 64 with an S3 Fission 968 uh, chip. It's a simple card, it does the job very good for DOS. So let's check what kind of network card. It's a digital 21041 uh, chip. So it's a nice 10 megabit uh, PCI network card. I think there are uh, DOS drivers available for this card. So in the future if we have a LAN party we can uh, play uh, Doom or something over the network. And Duke Nukem. <laughs> and Duke Nukem of course. 
Uh, and we have here a Sound Blaster Live. It's a model SB0060 and it's a uh, later model uh, of the Sound Blaster series. So it's a good card for Windows gaming, but for DOS gaming we're gonna put in the AWA64 card. Let's remove uh, the cables. We have now a better look on the Abit motherboard. It's an ATX motherboard. We have four ISA slots, four PCI slots, two IDE channels, a floppy connector, four uh, 72 pin uh, banks which are filled with memory. The motherboard has three banks for 168 pin memory, but that's not really needed because the limit of the chipset is uh, 64 megabytes of cacheable memory. And if you go above that, the memory isn't cached anymore. So it's probably slower to go uh, over 64 megabytes of memory on this motherboard. So let's check what CPU we have got here. If we can get it out. The CPU is a uh, Pentium uh, 200mmx and it's a uh, nice CPU for an MS-DOS time machine. Here we have the cache chips on the motherboard and all the caps are in a good working order. So we have an awesome ABIT motherboard. Here we have a 6GB Maxro hard drive and here also a 6GB Maxro hard drive. And we have a compact CD-ROM here. And of course a 1.44 MB floppy drive. We're gonna put back the Diamond Stealth uh, 64 video card. And we're gonna combine it with this Fudu 1. And the brand of the Fudu 1 is Trust and it's a Fudu Dragon. The sound card will be this AWA64. The model is uh, CT4520 and it is the AWA64 SE edition. And it has great compatibility with DOS games and uh, MIDI. So let's install the card. The machine is rebuilt now, so let's try it out. Input not supported. Hmm. Uh oh. Let's change out the monitor. So let's give it another shot. Right? Yeah. That looks better. How much memory? Oh, 64 megabytes of memory. So we have four sticks of 16 megabytes each. Nice. I see a nice option. Soft menu. <laughs> we can overclock your system. <laughs> or underclock your system to uh, run it with uh, older DOS games that... Uh, like Bubble Bubble. Yeah, yeah. that needs a 386 machine. Yeah. Let's take a look in the BIOS. User defined. We have uh, 60 megahertz, 66, 50, 55, 75, 83. So let's have some fun <laughs> before we go further with this video. We're gonna try to <laughs> overclock it. Now, <laughs> Bumu. <laughs> Pentium MMX at 225 megahertz. So we put it back on 200 megahertz because we don't need to overclock it. If the system is too fast to run a uh, DOS game, you can turn off the cache in the BIOS and then the speed of the machine will act like a 386. So you need to disable the CPU internal cache for that and the external cache. And that's why uh, this is called an MS-DOS time machine. Because it can run the newest MS-DOS games, but also the old DOS games with, uh, which can't be run on a fast CPU. DOS is already installed on the system, so we're now going to install the drivers and other software. Here we have the drivers for the AWA32 and AWA64. I have my original DOS floppies. And here we have Midnight Commander. And this floppy has a CD drivers and a mouse driver. Let's start with Midnight Commander.
This is Norton Commander and it is uh, built by Symantec. And Midnight Commander is the open source clone of this program. So Norton Commander is the original program for DOS and Midnight Commander is the later version which they use in Linux uh, systems. So let's install the mouse and the CD drivers. I put the drivers in the auto execute button and config sys. Let's see if it will work. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. One CD drive installed and one mouse installed. Nice. 8-bit testing. 16-bit testing. So now that this works, it's time for me to play some games like uh, Superplex maybe. And this is the original CD with all the codes inside. So let's try the game out. All right, let's do this. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's see if you can beat this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Not the way to go. I hate Superplex. This is the reason why it's not on my YouTube channel. God damn it. Let me play it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't want to give it another try. <laughs> Fuck it. We now gonna install one of the latest MS-DOS games. And this game also has 3DFX support. We gonna install Tomb Raider. Auto detected! Yes! Test! Right, let's go adventuring. What? And the game is now in software modus. Look, all those pixels. As we can see over here, the game is really pixelated because it's not working on the 3DFX uh, graphics card at the moment. But let's see what happens if we uh, try the 3DFX patch for Tomb Raider. The controls of this game are, are really crappy. But the game is uh, uh, running uh, on a good frame rate. Shoot some bats. Yes, you know some pixels. Oh, more pixels to shoot. Are there any tiger or bear shaped pixels? <laughs> Yes, but I don't know if it's also in this level. I renamed the old X file to old, so now I gonna copy the 3DFX patch. 
Oh yeah. Look, this is with the 3DFX patch. And way, way better. There they are. Are they pixels or are they bats? They look like bats now. In unlimited ammo, anyone? This is why you want a Fudu 1 in your MS DOS machine. Uh oh. Okay, Tomb Raider is running on the Fudu 1 and it looks really great for a DOS game. So now we're copying some games from, uh, from CD-ROM which uh, we freshly burned. Yeah, let's try out some games. But what are your favorite games for DOS? Well, that's Barbie of course. That's <laughs> <laughs> why is there Barbie on the hard drive? Barbie is one of the games that won't work on DOSBox. I don't know why. Uh, but I have a feeling that it's gonna work. That's uh, an old game that we had back in the early 90s with uh, you got three different posters of Barbie in black and white and you had to color them. And it was Why are we talking about Barbie? I don't know because I had a girlfriend when I was free and she loved there was she hated computers and computer games. I was always playing computer games. That was the only game that she would play. So I've seen it a lot. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh shit! Now we must include the Barbie game in this video. Yeah. Oh shit! And what I'm, have you done? I'm gonna call it the shit out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, we'll make up with some good old Doom and Duke Nukem 2. If you want to dislike this video because he wants to have Barbie in it, go to his channel, Dos Gamer. Choose a random video and then press dislike. Not on my channel. It's his fault. But do you have more favorite games? Uh, yeah, of course. To be serious, Jazz yes, Jackrabbit 1, Duke Nukem 2, uh, Transport Tycoon, All classic. Yogo Yogo, uh, Commander Keen, Doom 1, Doom 2, GTA, uh, Alley Cat. They have the tentacles, Pimble Fancies, Pimble Dreams, Pimble Illusion. I can name this whole list. What uh, DOS game did you play uh, as a kid but never played the whole game because you were stuck and that you're now trying again? But most of the, the, the other games that I had that I did not finish was because I had shareware versions of the game like Cosmos, Cosmic Adventure, Hocus Pocus, um, most of the Apogee classic titles of which I only played the, the, the shareware episode, so what comes after that is a mystery to me. So yeah, that's fun to, to explore even now, 20 years later, yeah. We're gonna run MemMaker because we have not enough memory available now. It's a lot better. PC Fashion Design and Color is trademarked by Mattel. This is it. We can choose three setups. Do you want to go to a fashion show? Do you want to go to the beach? Or do you want to go out? To the beach. To the beach. Boom. First we have to dress her up. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. All right, let's pick a top. Oh my God. Mm, awesome. Very timeless. With a short skirt, as short as possible. It's windy at the beach. <laughs> She can have a guitar on, on the beach, yeah. Okay, <laughs> guitar on the beach makes sense. Let's go. What? And now we must color everything. Yeah. Mm, what? And that's all? <laughs> no mouse? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, this will be a very long video. Ah, files, restore, fashion show. What? What have you done? <laughs> Alright, two and a half hours later, <laughs> I finished one. <laughs> okay, I think this is enough Barbie for today on my channel.
like it's running really uh, fast. Real smooth and yeah. fast, yeah. I love this. Better experience than on the DOS box? Yeah, for sure. Hurt me plenty. See me have a jump scare? <coughs> Works like a charm. Let's try Commander Keen 4. Let's see if it works. Looks promising. Uh, this is just plain awesome. Commander Keen, John Romero, John Carmack, Jason Blockowicz. There is a glitch over here. Oh, okay. And what's the glitch? Did you? Uh, it's not really a glitch. It's. Uh, wait, I can try, but I'm not sure because it took me a while to find it. Uh, but I can't fall in. That's the problem. I don't know how to get in anymore. But try again. Yes! Cool! <laughs> secret level? Uh, no, secret exit. Look! Look at my lives! Awesome! <laughs> More secrets! <laughs> I know most of them. This uh, gameplay of Commander King 4 isn't yet on my YouTube channel, but it's still planned to be because I started recording it uh, like three years ago. <laughs> I've done two levels and uh, now I'm playing it, it starts to, to itch again, you know? Retarded mushroom. Uh, I can get those. But it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Pedal Wars! I, for me, this is the best thing about Commander Keen. Pedal Wars. Yeah, Pedal Wars was just awesome. But I like the way uh, what they did with this, you know, with the the scratches on the on the on the uh, the, the watch. <laughs> and the best thing is when you make a point in the uh, look, it's stuck. <laughs> yeah, beat the system! <laughs> but if you score in the corner, you will always be too, too late for the, the next one. Look, Let, let's try to make a score over at the other corner. Yeah, you'll be on time. Come on. No. No, to the other corner. No, it's in the middle again. But it happens a lot when you score uh, at the far corner that he won't be on time to to get the next one like this. 
<laughs> Pedal War is just one of the best features of Commander Keen. It's simple, it's easy, and people have played it just as much as the game itself. Commander Keen 8, which is never released because it's from 2009. <laughs> this is made by the fan base. Cool. I'm not sure if it works. Look, it's just a mod. The universe is toast. And it's made just in the style of the original Commander Keen. Whoa! That's a clip. Whoa. But yeah, they change small th stuff like this. Alright, it has a glitch, but oh shit! Amy. Ah! <laughs> that was easy. That was not easy. <laughs> Try again. Alright, let's go. The controls are different uh, from the other command key. I like the music. The sound is a little bit different too, but it's great. It doesn't really look dead to me. I love it. Oh, idiot. Looks like it's from Minecraft. You never know if there's a secret. <laughs> you never know what command key. New enemies, new tiles, new levels, new colors, new interface. Pinball Fantasy. I remember this. From the same uh, deve uh, not developers, yeah, the same developers as uh, Battlefield One. Uh, this you can play this on a DOS box or a emulated system, but the best thing is just play it on a real machine. That's with pinball games. This is the best. And every sample that interrupts the music makes the music start again from from the beginning. So you never hear the end of the song, <laughs> yeah, unless you do stuff like this. Oh shit! Spear of Destiny. Oh. 
house problems. <laughs> shift does not. Oh, the other shift. Uh, yeah, let's go the other way first. Want to see the big gun? still one walking around but I'm not sure it was them <laughs> in the elevator uh, yeah I think this is it for 100 100 100 <laughs> oh, this level is hell. Which difficulty is this? The hardest. <laughs> I want to try this again, but without the gun. Without the gun! <laughs> you want to try it also without bullets? I remember this game having a, a rolling demo in the game. Uh, an autoplay, like when I end the game. And... Okay. Let's die. And when you end the game... Fuck you. <laughs> Back to demo. And it has, uh, uh, when you do nothing, it has a screensaver autoplay from the menu of the same uh, the same level, someone trying to finish it, but it's way too hard for him and he messes up big time. But not as big as I did just now, but he's all over the place. Let's see if he does it. And for own game. This is it. Look, it messes up real quick. Wow, I remember this recording. He gets shot at, but he doesn't give a shit. He's still getting shot at. <laughs> Great demo. Yeah. Great demo. Play Blizzard. That are good studio.
back in the day when I played this game, we had it over at the neighbors and uh, it's a friend of mine who was my age and we called it night because we didn't know what it was called. Fearless motherfucker, did you see that? <laughs> Boom! Jump to the other side, climb up, get your gun, fall, shoot, motherfucker. This one isn't on my channel yet. Uh, yeah, partly. Only the first uh, two episodes, I think. Not done too well, but even this game is still on my to-do list. Love this game. Never finished it. I know someone who did. Why didn't Why didn't you finish this game? It gets so hard on uh, further along the game in like the the second uh, and third episode or world. It gets really really tough. You get new weapons, faster enemies, uh, enemies who need more hit points. Uh, like this, don't touch the bomb. This guy needs to be hit twice. Good sound. Yeah, after playing all of these great games, one question still remains. Will I ever see this game again? This diskette uh, was given to me on a Dutch holiday back on the 5th of December in 1993. And I've never seen this game since, so I really want to see it. I really want to play it right now. Alright, let's see if it works. Alright, the floppy seems to work, and let's start with start. Look and compare. One moment, please. Oh, come on. You can do it. This is it. And we have sound. Kies één van de mogelijkheden. Concentrate. Let's try to remember Images. this. Don't do it too hard. Level three. Begin. Yeah, this is it. I remember the, 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 the rear sides of the deck. Was it this one? Moizo. <laughs> Thank you. Funny that uh, the sound is now coming out of the PC speaker and then the audio is coming through the sound card. Mooi zo. Dirt 
girl saying moi so was also very random in the game. Van de mogelijkheden. Geugen machine. <laughs> that, that is not Dutch. There was a letter missing. Green. But look at these graphics. These graphics are nice, right? Yeah. That was sudden. Oh, it's getting harder. They are going to look like each other. Alright, let's see. Moizo. Alright, one of the possibilities. We want to go in the rocket now. The rocket is fun. Travel in space. Uh, let's go in the middle, right? <laughs> oh shit, you gotta remember this. Which is which? So this is one, two, three, four, five. You got a two, three, four, five. I'm going to try to remember this. This is one. This is one. Phew, this is four. Five. Oh, that was five. This is one. This is three. three. This is one. This is two. No, four. this is four. This is five. This is three. This is four. This is four. Five. This is five. This is five. This is number... F fuck. <laughs> no, it's not number fuck. <laughs> So here we have it, the DOS machine we built for DOS Gamer. So what do you think about this machine? Well, we've tested a few games, not all of them worked. We only shown uh, the games that work. <laughs> but yeah, it runs uh, very fast, it runs awesome, it runs most of the games. The audio is great. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So I'm uh, going to say goodbye to some friends uh, very soon. <laughs> Because this is gonna take cost me a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> so no more YouTube videos, just your just playing, no more recording. <laughs> Thanks, Victor. <laughs> Thanks. Maybe you can get a capture device that you can capture this machine. Yeah, I have got and one. Step up in your in your channel to the real uh, hardware. Yeah, yeah, it's it's an option. We can uh, uh, try, try it out. We uh, can try it. Yeah. Uh, which game we didn't play today uh, do you really want to play on this machine now? Oh, on this machine, what we didn't play? Well, I would love to see some Duke Nukem 3D. I would love to see some 3DFX Carmageddon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what else? And some uh, Windows uh, 3.11 games because they are hard to run under uh, a modern day Windows machine. So, yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna invest some time here. <laughs> yeah. I will put the link to the YouTube channel of DOS Gamer in the description. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Subscribe and leave a comment. Join Retro Machines on Facebook. See you next time. And what is your last message for today? If you want to check out my YouTube channel, it's filled with uh, over 1800 uh, videos at this time with retro games from uh, mostly MS-DOS, Windows 98, Windows 3.1, uh, some Super Nintendo games on it. Uh, you can check out the link in the description, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.